Mic check now. Yeah. Check, check, check. Raven Felix. Yeah. Yo, yo, this is Dash Radio Double XL, DJ Bass, Young Raven Felix. What's up, Bass? What's up, man? DJ Bonix in the house. What's mm-hmm. up, homie? What's good, man? Chilling, man. Excited about this new Raven Felix record. Oh, yeah. <laughs> new Raven <laughs> Felix record came out last week. Yes. Featuring Wiz Khalifa. But, man, you're the homie. Like, you've been up here so many times, and I every know. time it's great to see you, as always. I think that, like, my one of my first radio interviews was with you. With me? Yeah. So, you know, you broke me into the game. How long ago was that? How long ago was that? You're you're a lot of people's first, huh? Yeah. That's what I I'm just gonna put it out there and I'm not asking you for shit. I'm just telling you that we've met before <laughs> seven thousand miles away. That's what it is. But yeah, it's cool. You're 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 here now. You're from here. I mean you're you're the mm-hmm. queen of the valley. Queen of the valley. Oh no. Yeah, yeah it's official. <laughs> it's official now. Yeah, it is very official. How's how's it been since everything? You know, you've had a crazy summer. You were on tour. Yeah. And we were just talking off the mic that you performed that probably one of the most iconic venues Hollywood Bowl. in the world. Mm-hmm. The Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. And not a lot of people at your age and at that point in your career performed. Like, I don't think anybody's ever performed. What's crazy about the bowl, too, for her, I, I think, is that, like, it really, it was an audience that was, like, Wiz audience and Fall Out Boy audience. So I think people from both sides were kind of like, she fits in here somehow. Right. Um, which is dope. The, I remember, the, the, the thing I remember most is a tweet that day was a girl that was like, here I am, ready to go to college, and I'm out here at the Boys of Summer Tour before going to college, and here comes 18-year-old, or sorry, here comes 19-year-old. Were you 19 at the time? No, the time. no I comes, just turned, I literally just days turned 20, before. So she might have said, so here comes 19-year-old Raven Felix out, changing my mind about everything, you know? Fuck college. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. You know? So I, I thought it was cool. How did you feel about it? No, it was just a special, it was a special moment, you know? It's my city. And you and said he was working down the street. I worked at the coffee bean down the street, not even like, you know, like... Not like four or five years ago, like you know what I mean. So yeah. it, it was just kind of surreal. You know, it's it's always fun to to perform to crowds and watch people's faces be, like change, like from how when I step on stage to when they hear me perform, or right. you know, it's stuff like that. So and especially in my own hometown, I want people right. to love me. So it was really dope. Hollywood yeah, bowl. we need a valley bowl. <laughs> we need a valley bowl. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna build it when bowl. I'm a millionaire. So the record, I want to play it actually. Please, okay, let's just get into the record. Yeah, introduce it for me. Who produced it? Um, uh, this is. All on you. you. When you record it? All on you, featuring Wiz Khalifa and produced by Little John and Mike Free. And uh, yeah, um, we actually. How did I record it? Is that? I mean, yeah. How did that it's work? Were you cool on story. tour? Were you? Yeah, we were in Atlanta for the A3C AC3 festival. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were out there, and we were at. Um, I think it was Mike Will's studio or something like that. And we were all just like recording. I remember Wiz was in a different room recording, and we were in another room. And I just kind of was going through beats. And, you know, wanted to record something, um, so I just laid the hook first, and I just left it. And when Wiz records, like, he records for days at a time. He just, like, stays in the studio, sleeps there and stuff. And I went I went back to the hotel and came back the next day, and he and I sat back down in the studio, and he was like, hey, I recorded a verse on that on that hook that you recorded in here. And I was like, oh, really? And then he played it, and it, there it was, which is so cool because, you know, it's not like we took it to him and asked him for it. You know, it just kind of happened really naturally, and I think that's what makes the song super dope. Yeah, the thing is, it's crazy because I actually grew up as a singer, so um, that was just always, like, what I did. I was always in musical theater. I was always in singing camps and singing classes and performance camps. It was, But it was always singing geared to singing you know and I'd always been a writer and stuff like that and wrote my own music and and but um singing was just like where I was 
comfortable. So I think with coming with rapping, it's it's awesome because I'm getting out of the comfort zone at, at times. You know, now I'm comfortable with rapping and stuff, but you know, in the beginning and, and with certain things, you know, because when I was growing up, I, when I was going on stage singing, I was like singing other people's music. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't me going on stage singing my own music. It was me singing like musical theater and like you know play like stuff like that. And so entering the realm of like doing it on my own and, and you know being vulnerable and stuff like that. It's it's crazy. Very nice. Thanks, Bass, for having Raven. us. I yeah, thank you it. so much. Always. Lots of love.